Hey guys, how are we doing? It's Martin Cliff here. Welcome to uh, another video. And this week we're going to talk about the love of cleans and clean towns in general, but also like how we can actually use them in, in a live context. So uh, I'm currently playing Old Rider, which is my town with three single coils. Um, and my sound for that intro was not clean, but it sounded it. How? Well, the most powerful thing on the guitar is the volume control. So if we think about our volume control, basically what it does is it can attenuate the level going into the amplifier or into the pedals or whatever it is. Um, and so many people just run it on full all the time, which is, is fine. And I'll talk about approaches where you can do that. Um, but sometimes maybe just try turning it down and see what impact it has on your tone. Now on some more vintage style guitars, the main thing that it does is as soon as you turn it down past about nine, it rolls off all the treble. So it's worth maybe considering a treble bleed circuit, which is a very simple passive circuit. All it is, I think it's a resistor and a capacitor in parallel um, across two of the pins of the volume pot. And what that does is it just helps retain a little bit of the top end while still bringing down the volume. Now all my guitars have that in, at least certainly the Sirs do. I'm not sure about the Les Paul, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to assume that I've got a treble bleed circuit in place, which means that as I turn down the guitar's volume, I lose volume, not brightness. Um, and in that start, a little bit kind of Robert Cray influence thing, I was on just on the neck pickup and this was what you heard. <laughs> five at the moment on the guitar. If I turn it all the way up, you can hear there's a bit of drive to it. And the reason for that is because I've got my, uh, my Professor Little Green Wonder pedal on. Got all the knobs set around about 10.30, um, which seems to be what works best for me on this. If I turn it off, then I get another usable clean tone. So why then did I have it on? Well, it's just a difference in tone. If I have a guitar on 10 with the pedal off, You can hear that it's slightly darker, but it also, to me, feels a little bit more compressed, like it's got a little bit more sustain, a little bit more controllable. If I turn the pedal off with the guitar at five, but then turn the guitar up, Both sound great and they're both really usable, um, but you, maybe you want to think about, okay, how am I going to then use that? What tools do I have at my disposal um, to maybe push myself forward in a mix uh, for a solo or you know, something where I need to stand out without necessarily needing more gain? Because a lot of the guitar players I love use loads of gain, but a lot of the guitar players I love use very little gain. So it's definitely a um, thing to think about. If you listen to like, you know, Robert Cray or Jerry Garcia or someone, loads and loads of clean tones, not a whole lot of drive going on. Uh, whereas someone like John Petrucci, loads and loads of gain in their lead tones. And all these players I, I love, but it's a case of, you know, where is, where are you at? What, what works best for you? So for me, I, I really like the clean sound of the guitar. Um, my amps are not loud. Um, they're louder than conversation volume, perhaps slightly, but they're not loud in, in the room. Um, but then how would I push myself forward? Well, if I've got my guitar on 10,
one thing you might do to pull the guitar forward in the mix is switch to a bridge pickup because it's brighter so it will cut through more. But in a busy, busy mix that might not work. Now having some kind of pedal therefore in the chain is useful. This is not a no pedals demo kind of thing at all. So you could turn on your overdrive pedal. So let's turn on my little green wonder um, and just see what that gives me with the guitar up full. definitely giving me more level but also giving me a lot more saturation which may or may not be what you're looking for so we could also think okay I've got the pedal on my guitar's at halfway so I've got that clean tone it gives me much more control then just to be able to pull it up maybe not all the way but just enough that's all the way let's try halfway in between definitely fatter but it's definitely not as uh, saturated going from whereas just using a pedal all the time for that boost doesn't give you the same amount of control now there are other approaches you could take maybe you don't want to use an overdrive pedal well, how else can you make your signal higher? Well, the most simple is a boost. I've got a uh, ISO boost on my board and it's set to about three. not changing the core tone of the um, of the guitar when I'm doing that which is great that's what I want but it's giving me a significant increase in, in level but that will depend on your amplifier um, I run my amps with the gain relatively low so that I have what's called headroom which basically means that you can put more into the amp and it will get louder as opposed to you can put more into the amp and it will get more overdriven so it's definitely starting to kind of compress a little bit at that point but it's not kind of giving me um, any kind of real overdrive at that point. If you're running your game kind of at the point where it's just about clean, but um, you know, doesn't have any more headroom before it goes dirty, that might not get you any louder. You could approach that instead if you've got an effects loop, run your boost pedal in the effects loop, but you do need to be careful about that because that can, um, can be fine, but if you run it too high, it can cause issues with some effects loops because uh, then you're driving the power amp tubes really hard and um, that can be can be an issue. Just something to, to think about, maybe experiment with sensitively. Um, another approach could be a compressor. So I've got a Sir Koji comp on the board. Now you might say, though I didn't get any louder. Or maybe it got a little bit louder, but it got more noisy and not a lot. But what that does help me to do is it brings up the level of single notes relative to chords. So if I'm playing chords... My single notes sound quieter, but I turn the pedal on... helps to even things out a bit, gives a little bit more sustain. And I could turn the level up and get a bit of a boost out of that too. Um, it just helps the, the response and the feel. A compressor is as much about feel as it is about anything else. So different options there. And that's kind of how you might approach them with, with single coils. Um, with humbuckers, I, uh, I use a very similar approach. I'll switch in a minute to, to blue and we'll 
hear that? I use a different overdrive pedal, and I tend to use the overdrive pedal and turn the guitar volume down most of the time. Uh, I could quite easily get away with not having the boost on the board. Most of the time I could also get away with not having the compressor on the board. Um, I only usually use it when I want really sparkly clean tones. So like those kind of in-between things. Uh, if I put on some delay and maybe some um, tremolo and I want to get... and the compressor just helped to fill up the sound of picking gently so that the guitar sounded warmer because uh, you know, your pick is, is a very powerful thing. Or yeah, maybe I want to, uh, another use for a compressor on my board is I want an overdriven sound, um, but only slightly overdriven. Uh, and I want to be able to control the amount of overdrive without reducing the level. So I turn on the overdrive and I play with the guitar volume low and pitch gently, it's pretty clean. So a whole range of different ways you can approach um, your, your gain staging without having to go into overdrive pedals. Switching over to a humbucker guitar, the guitar has more output, which means that the amp is starting to overdrive using this guitar. Just when I play hard, I'm on the bridge humbucker. <laughs> But I can clean that up instantly. Just with the tiniest roll off. I'm at like maybe eight and a half now on the volume. And I can take it literally all the way down to like about two. My volume pot doesn't actually have numbers on, so uh, at, but at that point I'm getting a thin, almost single coily sound. Let's try with the compressor. So a whole range of tones available with a compressor pedal just from one pickup position. But let's instead put a Sheba drive on. Knobs at around about 130 on this one. Full volume. <laughs> So maybe if I want a crunchy rhythm tone, I would have it like that. Because that gives me the flexibility then just to turn up the volume for any lead parts. But what about a clean tone? Well, let's switch to the neck pickup. up. And I'm at about two and a half, three on the volume control. I don't have numbers on it, but that's where I think it is. Um, looking at where the set screw is. So if I play hard and I play chords, it's going to drive slightly. But nothing like. But if I'm playing single notes. So 
so there's a range of, of tones there and that's kind of in isolation that might sound slightly driven but in a band mix you're probably not going to notice that's going to sound pretty clean not perfectly clean but pretty good and that's kind of how i like to approach it with with this guitar is keep the drive on use the volume control i like the volume control fairly close not like strap close but fairly close to the pickup so that my long little finger uh, can just keep on it and I can basically control the level of every note I play. So for me, having two overdrive pedals is the most flexible approach I, I can think of. They're both set pretty low. If I want a whole load of gain, then I'll just turn both of them on. Because one overdrive feeding another, I've got Shebro feeding the little green wonder here, um, will give me suddenly a gain boost. So you tell on about five or six. Add the little green wonder. Awesome. Couple of overdrives, clean amp, guitar with a good volume control with a treble bleed. Really flexible approach. Maybe something where you want to try about in your guitar playing. Don't just rely on having tons of gain, don't just rely on loads of pedals. Just think maybe a little bit outside the box or even, I mean it's a bit of a more traditional approach in some ways. Now you could say to me, well, what about if I just have my amp gain higher? Um, and that is cool, except that unless you have an effects loop, because a lot of the older style amps, uh, which are most responsive to the guitar, um, don't have loops and stuff in. So then boosting the level isn't so great. You're pushing the guitar hard, so then it's difficult to use delays, because ideally delays want to be after gain stages. I know there are approaches for using a delay in front of a gain stage, um, but for most of us, particularly those of us who are playing kind of rock and blues and that kind of thing, having a delay after a gain stage works best. Um, so, and also just the sheer volume of running an amp loud sometimes, particularly if it's an amp that doesn't have a master volume, um, is just impractical for a lot of people. So it's just something to always think about um, for me, I could get away with you know, a couple of overdrives and a delay and I'd be happy most of the time. Let me know your thoughts. What are your kind of essential pedals? Maybe you play clean all the time. Maybe you have a different approach to clean. I'd love to hear that. Um, obviously different guitars respond differently. I play two very different guitars. Um, I know I have a couple of others, but these are the two I play and I hope I've demonstrated them effectively uh, in this video. Uh, but just, yeah, think about maybe turning the game down and exploring clean for yourself and for your band. Because I'll tell you one thing, a loud clean guitar will cut through a mix miles better than a really heavily overdriven one. It also it's harder to play, which therefore makes your playing stand out. People will notice you if you can play amazing clean. Because you're not just relying on the crutch of having tons of overdrive and delay. Now, don't get me wrong, tons of overdrive or distortion and delay is great fun to play with because it's easy. But depending on the kind of music you're playing, if you want to sound kind of authentic and passionate, Turn the game down, pick harder, use your volume control to control your dynamics. Thanks for watching guys, take care, I'll see you soon.